Hey, Shay Russell here, and I am coming to you again from Rick Rawls Private Speaker Cruise. But joining me today is the incredible Adrian Day. Oh, look at him. Adrian Day from Adrian Day Asset Management. Now, for those of you who don't know who Adrian Day is, don't worry. You are going to want to know who he is after this video, and we're going to tell you how you can get access to him. But right now, Adrian. Yes. You have seen many commodity bull and bear markets. Tell me, what can you say to your UK brethren that you did leave a little bit behind when you escaped the country? What can we say to them when it comes to investing in commodity companies right now? From my point of view, I think gold is, is extremely uh, positive right now from a risk reward basis. I mean, when you look at what the central banks around the world are doing, including the uh, Bank of England, which used to be quite a respectable organization, not right now, are they? Um, you know, interest rates are 1.25% with an inflation forecast for the end of the year at 11 plus, you know, that's not going to cure inflation. And in that kind of environment, gold, gold is a very good risk reward. Let's talk about the pound, because it, it sucks right now. So is that giving yeah. people any indication that they should be moving into? Uh, what, like where do you put your yeah. money when it's losing value against other major currencies? Well, this is it. When you're, when you're a Brit and the pound is going down and the stocks are going down, you know, you kind of get a little bit depressed. When you're an outsider, or I'm not an outsider, but when you live abroad and you're a dollar-based investor looking in, you've got stocks that are cheap and you've got a currency that is cheap. So for a non-UK investor, you're buying some very, very good companies at very attractive prices. The message for UK people, of course, is don't give up and sell at this point. And I mean, think you've had, I'm not gonna get into politics, but you've had a little bit of fun recently, and that has just depressed, particularly the currency, but also the market. You know, now let's face it, if you've got a good quality company producing a good good product and exporting it, the fact that um, uh, Mr. Johnson had a couple of, couple too many glasses of wine at a party that he shouldn't have had is an irrelevancy. It doesn't affect that company, and yet the price of the stock goes down. So you need to take advantage of those. All right, so here is my under the bus question. This is where I throw people oh. under the bus every time, without fail. What is the one thing, invest, first time, investors should know about commodity markets? Oh boy, the first thing you need to know is that they are inherently volatile. And when I say volatile, I mean truly volatile, including the biggest and the best, whether it's BHP and RTZ, RTZ, sorry, <laughs> or, um, you know, junior mining stocks. They are all inherently volatile. Just to give you an idea, you know, the big caps, big cap stocks in the US are down in the last three months by about 32%. That is a heck of a decline in, you know, three and a half months. From 19, from, I mean from 19, 2011 to 2015, they fell 86%. That's the biggest and the best, fell 86%. So, you have to, I'm only giving you the downside. The opposite's true on the upside. Now, compliance department don't like you only talk about the good times. No, that's right. Do you want me to give my risk disclosure? It'll only take 20 minutes. <laughs> or is it okay if I skip it? Skip the risk disclosure. Okay. The I'll point I'm making, battle. though, is if you invest in commodity stocks, even if you buy a fund, don't think if you buy a fund you're minimizing your risk. They are going to be volatile. You have to be prepared for the volatility, and more importantly, you have to take advantage of the volatility. All right, Adrian, you are one of my favorite people to talk to because I'm smart enough to people smarter than me. I promise you there will be a more detailed interview with Adrian in the future. But before we get to that, Adrian, where can people find you if they want to get in touch with more of your work? Yeah, the web is www.adrianday.com. All right, make sure you go to adrianday.com because I genuinely... Oh, you've actually written books as well. Yeah. How did you not mention that? This is this is the upsell I'm, I'm, part, the free I'm, upsell part. I'm English. We don't do that sort of... All right, so he's, sort of he's written books, but he, he doesn't want to sell his books. But they are very good. I will bring you more Adrian Day in the future. But I've got to say, thank you very much for watching. Adrian, once again, I love your oh, time. Thank you so thanks much. for being here. Thank you. See ya.